Spree, how do you feel about? Are you weird with death? About death. So now I'm gonna sound like fucking crazy person, but I I like I love talking. Uh, It's Mm -hmm. like the most fascinating. Not talking about dying, but talking about what happens after, Mm -hmm. because nobody knows and nobody ever will know. I think it's like the most fascinating thing, and also. Like, that's the one thing that's inevitable. Everyone's going to die. I feel like if you're scared of it, you're just going to be scared of your life. I That's Damn. the one thing that I think about dying every day. Not in a way that, like, I want to die. I am terrified of dying. I am so scared of dying because it will hit me and I'll be like, holy shit, I'm really going to die one day. Mm-hmm. Unexpectedly, maybe. It could be tomorrow. Uh, I'm freaking myself out right now thinking about it like it could happen at any moment and that's what freaks me out that there is no we don't know what happens after I have an idea of what I think happens after and what I'd like to happen after because I do believe in mediums and them connecting with spirits who are like floating around and sending messages to you like I very much believe in that so I, I do in my mind I think we die and then we hang out with the other people who have died that's just like the way I'd like to think about it mm-hmm. you know we go yeah. we go to like a spiritual place and you're like the age that you died and you're with your you know family members or friends or whoever it may be that's how I like to think about it but it scares me to no end that I will not exist on this earth anymore there will be no Rhea there will never be another Rhea I will be gone like just boom and then nobody like Nobody cares. Nobody really yeah. cares after. Yeah. You know, they yeah. care for a little bit. Well, shit moves on. Yeah, like, shit, shit, be- shit life, keeps Life, life has keeps to go on. So yeah. it's like. The world keeps spinning. And we, we always die. forget. Yeah. You, and then, I use that as like my motto. Like, you, no one's going to care. Like, of course, your family's going to care for a little bit. Your yeah. friends are going to care. Nothing you ever did is really going to matter unless you're Martin Luther King. Like, right. You yeah. can do whatever the fuck you want. Like, yeah. just, like, kind of use it as an excuse. Like, we're going to die. Nobody's going to fucking care. Shit, I can call let's Victoria get crazy Kirk. right now. Yeah, yeah. like, that's kind of the way you should yeah. look at it's it. It's true. So I'm scared. not necessarily, I'm not afraid of, I'm kind of, I'm half and half. I am not afraid of dying because I know it's going to happen. What I am, what I am anxious about is, like, if I were to die tomorrow, I would be fucking pissed because right now things are great for me. I'm, I'm like, yeah. killing it right now. Like, it's great. <laughs> Six months ago, I would have been like, whatever, man. Like, who gives right, a shit? Right. Like, it's just, like, yeah, fine. Like, my life is great. Whatever. Now shit's turned around. Now I'm like, no, 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 wait. Like, just a little bit longer. Yeah. Like, whatever. I take back all the times yes, I said I wanted like to die, kind of please. Shit. So I have, but, but I'm not, ultimately, though, I know that I'm, like, gonna die. And you know what I'm like the most fucking worried about is that I die unexpectedly and that like my parents have to go to my apartment and it's a fucking mess or my computers you know I I text like an asshole I you know I, I talk to guys I talk to my friends I talk shit I you know whatever yeah. I like my huge fear is my parents like <laughs> seeing my computer going through all my stuff I talk shit about like your, my family sometimes your porn like, history yes like I would kill myself like, it, like I would be dead like but your I would last kill your like, last google search is like yes. lesbian scissoring yes. and your parents <laughs> like that's how she died Literally, Really, like I, I could, I could actually die thinking about that. So I'm like, please no. But that's my biggest anxiety. I think of dying is yes. that like there'll be too many loose ends that I didn't. <laughs> so I feel like now, like I'll go home and I, I like clear my own history and stuff. Like, I clear I my own history time. every time uh, I, I log out of my phone. Yes, every no I, one is even going through my phone. I live same. by myself. Like there's no need for that. But I'm always like, just in case anyone ever sees my phone and goes through it, like yeah. I won't be embarrassed in death. It's like you're not gonna be embarrassed in death. We're, you're dead. We're it's, paranoid bitches. Yeah, yeah, it's by far the sketchiest thing I do. I. I, I delete Definitely. my history every five minutes. Like if I go yeah. on Google, my I, my clear. history clear. is yep. being cleared immediately after that. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but it's it's that fear of if I die, they're going through my phone. They yes, want to know exactly. how I died. Yes, they're they're exactly. going. They want to know the last people I talked to, so they could say, "Oh, the Especially last." Especially if you're like murder or something. Sent. Yeah, if you're murder, they want to see who you were talking to. Mm-hmm. The suspects. I I delete my history. We are paranoid bitches, yes, and that's what are. I mean by being paranoid about like. I are you not paranoid about the moment right before it's it's done for you because I I think of it in like have you ever gotten uh, anesthesia of course and they count- I was just, you're describing it and I'm like this sounds like sweet yeah. relief actually and they, it and does they not count sound they count bad. down yeah. yeah and then it's like a beautiful feeling yes yes I want to die like that I would like to die with like that, but I'd like for there to be something after. Like I don't want to just like go into a black hole and not exist anymore. And then you come back, right? Yeah. Reincarnation, if so to speak, you come back, but then you never knew that you were you. I know. Like you're. Yeah, that's pretty wild. It it, it fucks me up thinking about it. I don't want to die if there's technology to keep me alive at this age for the rest of my life. 
please give it to me. Yeah. Because I'd like to not go anywhere. I, I want to see how much the world changes. One of my, I'd like to be uh, one yeah. of my like ex boyfriends was a like a an atheist, but in the obnoxious way where he would like everything that if you weren't an atheist, you were a fucking moron and mm-hmm. it was obnoxious. And mm-hmm. so I also, I'm, I'm non-religious. I wouldn't say like I'm an atheist because I like to believe in like, you know, the Zodiac and, and mediums and weird shit like that. Yeah, I don't but, believe in God, but I believe in yeah. other shit. But I, but I once had a conversation wow, with him. Brie. He was like, um, I say it all the time. <laughs> no, it's, I don't really either. I don't. Yes. I don't really either. I, 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 I went grew to Catholic up, school. Yeah, my whole same. Life. Yeah. I think yeah. that so did I. if you like went to Catholic school Catholic and then you're church. not religious now, the little it's, pedophiles fucked me over. Yeah, on that one. for real. Yeah, but so <laughs> um, the Catholic church. We had a conversation one time that was <laughs> my like, my mother is going to kill me because <laughs> I went to Catholic. But school. you're not saying it. We are. But the thing is, I've I've said not that because. I do believe in God in some way. I would say you're more way, religious than, than we are. Yeah, but I am more religious, but I'm also not religious. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I can't you're remember the last Catholic. time I went to church or yeah. whatever, but I went to Catholic school my entire life, so yeah. it's just like, oh, that's what yeah. I was told, I guess. But in some Same. ways, I'm kind of like, but like, if that was yeah. true, then like, why does these yeah, things yeah, yeah. happen? You know, there's yeah. always that conversation. My whole family But is any religious. time I, t- I talk about religion, my mom calls me up and is like, why did we spend thousands of dollars sending you to Catholic school? <laughs> and I'm like, I did not ask for that. You put me into Catholic school and paid for it. I didn't say, hey guys, I want to go to Catholic school yeah. when I was three years old. Like, of course, that, yeah. It's yeah. just, that's where you put me. That's, yeah, that's I, the I whole thing. I also hate how it's such a, um, a touchy thing. Like right. for me to be like, I, I don't believe in God. Well, yeah. it's kind of like, Atheism is kind of a religion. That's what I believe yeah, in. That's it's what you thing. believe yeah. in. It's like, I, like, I don't think yeah. it should be such a tense conversation. When, yeah, when people are like, oh my, yeah. you don't because believe Because you believe in God, God, I'm not like, you're an idiot. Okay, then you believe. Right, I, and that's what made it I, I don't really even know now that we're talking about it. I don't yeah. even know at this point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but that's like, what, you guys that was what was obnoxious about it. Persuading me. Yeah. That was what was obnoxious about it. We were talking about it, and he was like making this argument being like, like, so what do you think happens when you die? And I was like, I like to believe that there's like a heaven or an afterlife or something along those lines because that's something positive where it's like, all right, that doesn't seem like death is this huge thing to dread if you're yes. like in a phase where you're dreading death, you know? And um, and I was like, yeah, I like to think like there's a nice thing or whatever. And he's like, well, wh- like, why do you think that though? Like, you know, it's not real. I'm but, like, yeah, but, but how do you so know, wrong about, how like, do you know there's it? nothing? Like, you know, exactly. no one you don't ever know shit. knows. It, yeah. it bothered yeah. me so much. It was like a weird conversation. It really no bothered me. Right. And it no made me wrong. like, it made me think differently about, because I, again, like we said, I'm not religious, but I also like don't really believe in God either. Like yeah. I'm half and half, but it made me kind of stay in that limbo versus like suddenly being, being like, that no, asshole. fuck that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I never Because I was like, wait a minute, why would I, like why subject yourself to like actual yeah. misery? It feel, it yeah. sounds like misery. You, you to, like, can't not prove even, either one of yeah. them, so you can't have like, right. so right. I think about, it's like, better to nice, just be you know? open. Like there may right. be, and there may be not. That's actually kind of where I stand. Like yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. possible, sure. but it's also quite possible there isn't. Yeah, maybe I just, maybe I'm just in the ground. Who knows? Right, and to be honest, like, all religions are kind of just made up in some capacity. Yeah, like, everybody makes shit up. Like, exactly. It's the enti- hey, Rhea, the entire world way, is just like, made up. Everybody everything just made, is made everything up. up. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's One some, day. Like years and years and years ago, they decided this was how, you know, yeah. that, this is that religion, that's that religion. So there's so many ways to think. So I think it's good to just be open to all different kinds of possibilities yeah. yes, in sure. that aspect. 